Hey everyone and welcome to another All About Arby's video. Today we're taking a real quick look at a brand new 2024 Arctic Wolf 278 BHS fifth wheel here. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. So we're gonna start off on the inside here real quick, and then we'll come on back to the outside. As you can see, it has that kind of black safety glass entry door. Stepping up inside your new RV here, you have one slide out. Large U-shaped dinette will go down and make into a bed and it has two big uh, drawers underneath of there for extra storage. Big window to overlook the back side of the RV there. Has the pulled down kind of zebra shades. USB charger port back there on the wall. Electric outlet down there in the middle. Then you have the 10.7 cubic foot uh, Girard 12 volt refrigerator with some storage up above. Over here on this side, you have your TV up here. Big window overlooking the awning side of the RV. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Girard oven does have the pull out drawer below as well three burner cooktop flip down glass lid and then you also have some countertop space there behind it along with your high rise spring sprayer faucet under mount sink some drawers on the side as well they're using the gerard hood range light and fan up here in the gerard microwave Hardware also kind of changed up a little bit on your cabinet doors. Pretty good amount of storage in here as well. Propane leak detector down below the sliding door there. Looking up at the ceiling, you got some blue accent lighting up here, ducted AC system, and you have the 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. Couple little steps there. Little closet area back here. You have two bunks, a little bit wider, electric outlet, USB charger port here. Rated for 300 pounds on the top bunk. And you have AC duct back here, a couple lights back here, emergency exit window down there. Then you also have a little cubby area underneath of here. There's a heat duct down there as well. But I like how they kind of turn the beds sideways here to shorten up the RV a little bit. You have theater seat, does have the little light and heat and massage built in. The center cup holder piece can actually be removed there as well. It is a freestanding theater seat. It's currently strapped in for travel purposes, but when you get there, it's usually best to unstrap it and kind of scoot it over a little bit more toward the door. There is some USB charger ports here, but they also put in this little charging docking station for a portable Bluetooth speaker by the Driven company. Uh, they have a Driven stereo thing in here that allows you, or connector, it's a Bluetooth connector, that allows you to connect your phone to some speakers inside and out. But it doesn't have an actual real radio, but it works off of your Bluetooth of your phone. And that company also gives them that little connector there, hoping that you will buy their portable speaker aftermarket. Down there you have the road vac, central vac, and dustpan vac. Got another heat duct coming out there as well. You can see one of those speakers up there. Now here's that little connector here for your phone by Driven again. Um, so you can connect Bluetooth to play music. There's a 12-volt outlet here. 
digital voltmeter here. You have your thermostat for your furnace and AC system, Furion on-demand water heater control, and then you have your little control panel here, which also has Bluetooth connectivity to it. And you have you know, some light controls, monitor panels for your holding tanks, um, our battery. Right now we're working off of battery power, basically. So the solar panels kind of uh, charging up the batteries a little bit, but the batteries allowing me to run all the lights and stuff in here without having electricity. But it won't let me run like the fireplace or the air conditioner. You have to have electric for that or a generator or something. Uh, awning control, slide control here as well. You'll see a little motion lights in a few different places throughout the RV and also storage compartments. There's an electric box with breakers and fuses back behind the uh, theater seat there. Going up here, you have your bathroom area. So you have a step-in shower, porcelain foot flush toilet, pull across vinyl door there. Uh, they did upgrade the shower wand as well. A skylight up above. They even put a little closet rod up there. So you could actually pop that out if you want or use it to maybe hang some wet clothes and stuff if you come back from the beach. Large turbo exhaust fan here. Then you have some storage below your sink and a nice medicine cabinet area. And then there's a little bit of storage here as well. Goes back pretty deep. Bedroom has a swing door on it. The bed will raise up, so there's storage under the bed. You have a little cabinet on each side and above the bed area, some more blue accent lighting. Electric outlet and USB charger port on the left. Over here on the right side, there's a regular electric outlet, but then that bigger black box there with the little advertisement hanging off of it is a 150 watt inverter uh, that will actually work off of your battery and allow you to maybe plug in like a CPAP machine or something along those lines if you're kind of boondock camping. There's a drawer on each side of the bed as well, little end tables. Then you have another closet space over there and TV area over there as well. And then you can order it with second AC if you want. This one was just ordered second AC prep. That's that little plate up there. But overall, nice little lighter weight style family bunkhouse camper here. Um, one other real quick thing, you will see these in some of the RVs that have these type of slide outs. And this allows you to go back in behind the area up there with a cordless drill to manually crank in the slide out if it ever failed. Hopefully it never fails on you, but if it does, that's what you'll see those little things typically in uh, the little packets that come with the RVs. So back out to the outside of the RV here. They've gone to more of a white fiberglass exterior instead of last year's gray model. Graphics did change up a little bit as well. You still have those mirrored tinted windows and then you have that black tinted safety glass entry door. Large power awning, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure, adjustable arms for tilting. There is one of your propane tanks back in behind this door right here. 20 pound propane tank with the auto changeover regulator. And then over on this side, you have in the storage compartment area there, cable and electric outlet, some motion lights, and a pretty good size pass-through storage. One of the little pet-friendly leash latch holders down there. Your front jacks have the quick pull pins to drop them down faster. They are electric front jacks and electric rear jacks. It is a four-point auto-level jack system. You have the heavy-duty more ride entrance step rated for 500 pounds. Comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet. You have the large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out. Another thing that changed up for this year is they have prepping for an overhead camera up there. Also on the front marker light on each side, you could do a camera there and one on the back. So you are prepped in four spots for a four camera system by Furion if that interests you. Double axle, you have uh, aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs, and then they also have these little green caps here 
that not only tell you the pressure, the cold pressure, this one's 80 PSI, but it will also change color if it drops too low. Um, so keep an eye on those, but it's definitely really important to keep an eye on your tire pressure in general. Couple outdoor speakers, your stove exhaust vent there. There is a flapper in there. You wanna make sure you do open that up when you're trying to cook inside. Little pull out kitchen area. So you have a two burner gas stove top, a little dump sink here. There's also a cold water spray port. There's a hose somewhere around here that goes to that. And then you also have a little portable ice maker and another 110 volt mini fridge here. Large storage compartment underneath the bunk area as well. And you can see that little white sticker thing flapping around down there. That is where the gas line hookup is for that two burner cooktop. Traditional flat back rear end. It does have the uh, fold down rack was ordered on this one. And this is also again prepped on the back for a rear observation camera and also prepped for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder that you can buy aftermarket as well. It's basically a telescoping ladder. I think it's rated for about like 330 pounds. So it's actually heavier duty than a traditional RV ladder that's only rated for 250 pounds. But what's nice is you could throw it in a storage compartment and basically not have to worry about your kids horsing around and climbing up and down on there, possibly falling off and getting hurt. Here you have your on-demand water heater in the power plug-in area right here. It's a detachable power cord that hooks up right here. The cords are usually about 25 or 30 feet long, roughly. There's a dump area right down below here. You can also see it does have the enclosed underbelly as well. Another storage compartment area right here. It has a little motion light in it. And this actually goes up pretty high. So this might be decent for some, like fishing poles or something. Over here in front of your slide, you're gonna have more handles and stuff to dump with. So underneath of there is hot and cold low point water drains. You have the fresh water tank dump back there. And then you have your gray and black tank dump up here as well. A light over here, hot and cold outside utility shower here as well. Furnace exhaust out right here. Then you have your little docking station for your city water inlet, gravity fill fresh water tank, black tank flush, cable and satellite inlets as well. The other side of your storage compartment has your jack controls. Another motion light, some instructions here. And there you can see that power cord as well. 20 pound propane tank on this side also. Now right here, some very important informational stickers for you. This right here is gonna tell you production date. So example, this one was built 615 of 23, model number 278 BHS. We have our gross vehicle weight, that's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, 11,510 pounds. And it's got your VIN number on it, tire size, ST22575R15 E-range tires, 80 PSI cold. And right here is your dry weight sticker. Also has the vent on it, also has the length of 34 feet, two inches on it. But your dry weight, 8,245 pounds is what this supposed will be rolled off the assembly line at. And again, prepping for that side camera. Your front docking light switch here, spare tire up here out of the way. So it's out of the weather, also kind of hidden, so it's less likely to get stolen off the bottom of your RV. Battery area there, battery disconnect back there, and also a solar charge controller back there as well. Step back here so you can kind of see down the whole side. It does have a really nice fiberglass front cap. You can see that is kind of sloped back as well. It has some blue accent lighting on it. You have the Rhino Box 
for the hitch pin up here. So if you do decide to change this out aftermarket, you have to make sure whatever you buy bolts up to the Rhino box bolt pattern. So you could get like say a more ride hitch, uh, you know, maybe a Reese goose box if you wanted to go gooseneck wise, um, you know, trail air, or curt air ride, whatever you might want to change out to in the future. It could be done as long as it bolts up to that Rhino box version. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV video. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money. Thanks again.